My preaching here is prophecy. Listen to the preacher. Let's read the Bible. Thank you, Jesus. Let's read Deuteronomy. One. Chapter one. We read from verse six to eight. Beautiful here. You must speak there. Lena Lidula Namuan Molia. Verse 6, verse 8. Yes. The Lord our God spoke to us in Horeb, saying, You have dwelt long enough at this mountain. Turn and take your journey and go to the mountains of Amorites, to all the neighboring places in the plain, in the mountains and in the lowland, in the south and on the sea coast, to the land of the Canaanites, and the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the, U, the river Euphrates. See, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord saw to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give to them and their descendants after them. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Your message today is move forward. Move forward. There's something that I have discovered. When God has given you mercy and grace. He wants you to continue to do what you are doing. He wants you to continue to do what you are doing. Because the blessing is on the moving forward. When devil comes your way, he wants to stop what you are doing discourage you to bring other roads that we can We can read here and we understand that it is not easy for the Israelites. The Bible says they were in Horeb. The mountain where the Lord God has appeared. But the place where they were is not where God was taking them to. Truly he appeared there. But to tell them that there's still a move. Though I spoke with Moses here, this is not the end place. That's, that's what God was speaking with He says now you have dwelled in one place for a long time. It is time to move forward. It is time to move forward. Some of you have dwelled in one position for a long time. But this is the time for you to move forward. You have dwelled in one house for a long time. Listen, where they have dwelled is where he, Moses got revelation. But they cannot live by the revelation of the past. They cannot live by the revelation of the past. They have to go where they are called to come. There's still a place that God has set for them. He said, there's a land before you. If you dwell in this mountain, 
You won't possess the land. Oh, what's the facile or the castle? It's for the castle. So now, Some of you have dwelt in Baba, we have a cell, a little chip, but I'm here to tell you today. The Lord wants you to move forward. And encounter other things which are better than where you are. You have experienced visitation. And you have stayed there in those visitation and revelation is time to move forward to explore God better to encounter him differently there is someone here this week God will push you forward you will experience things in another way when I read this I found that the Israelites when they were told to move forward Forward. It is because they have dwelt for a long time. Ask your neighbor, where have you dwelt for a long you time? You want to go forward. Today you are commanded. Today there is power. There is anointing that will take you there. If people are hearing me, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Look what happened. When the Israelites wanted to move forward, there was a problem. They could not believe God so much. Remember what happened when God took them from Egypt. But the Bible says, they had already been declared that the land before them belongs to them. But the Bible says, they said it's better we send spies. It's better we want to know what is the land look like. Here it is the land that they are given. But they still want to find out. They still want to understand what is in that land. And the Bible says they send spies. But when they send those spies, when they came back, they came back with what God said. But the problem was there were people in that land who were bigger than them. I don't know if you are hearing me. The Lord has spoken that this land that you are about to take over it is the best land. But there were giants in the land. But I am here to tell you this. You cannot possess a better thing which is not possessed. Possess, a giant person. You cannot take over something which bigger, which is not having someone bigger than you. Listen to what the Lord says. We don't says. know who stays there. You look what God says. Here is the land that you are going to take over. If you say you will take over, whoever stays there cannot defeat you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Someone is about to take a high position. Whoever is in that position must make way for you. I say must make way for you. Look at what the Bible says. If you are hearing me, shout hallelujah. When God says, you are going to take the land that I have. When God says, you are going to take that house. I don't go and inspect it. And say, how big is the house? Who stays there? What are the fruits there? This has affected the Israelites. God was not happy with them. It changes the plan. The things that were supposed to take to happen within two weeks, it took them 40 years. I don't know if you're hearing me. 
they could not believe enough. They could not understand enough. And this has delayed themselves. I'm here to tell you that within this day there is something that God wants to give you. I don't know if you're hearing me. Don't allow it to delay for other years. The Israelites die in the desert because they wanted to see what was in the land. I don't know if you're hearing me. They wanted to see who was the leader there. The fruits are there. It is the best land. But the people who are living there, their chance. Hey, if the land is good, people who are there, they must be fed. People who are there must be big. God wants to change your stature today. If you are about to take over, you are about to change your image. You are about to change your image. Hey, hey, shout hallelujah. How can you take over an office which is bigger? And you find that nothing changed in your life. You will change that car. You will change that house. You will change how you need. That's what God wants to do for you. Remember I'm prophesying you. I say you are about to change that house. I say you are about to change where you stay. Because you are about to change where you stay. Because you are taking over. Because you are about to change where you stay. Because you are about to change where you stay. Because you are about to change where you stay. Because you are about to change where you stay. Because you are about to change where you stay. Because you are about to change where you stay. Because you are about to change where you stay. Because you are about to change where you stay. Because you are about to change where you stay. Because you are about to change where you stay. Tell the say, hey, move say, forward. Say, move forward. Move forward. There is something ahead. And nobody can take it except you. There's a blessing that has been stored for you. He wants you to have it. I prophesy you that this week it is your week to move forward and take over. Say, I will move forward and take over. Say, I will move forward. And take over. Say, I'm taking over. If you're a remission, hallelujah. 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 I want to show you. Because there is danger of staying one place. There is a danger of staying one place. Because devil can fight and make you to be discovered. And find some strategies of how to eliminate you if you are in one place. You are called to move. Your enemy is about to follow you. But he won't reach where you are going. I don't know if you are hearing me. Let's look at the scriptures. In the book of Exodus 14, from verse 13. Exodus 14, verse 13. Exodus 14. Uh -huh. Verse 13. Verse 13. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which uh -huh. he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again no more forever. Carry on reading. The Lord will fight for you. The Lord will fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. And you shall hold your peace. And the Lord said to Moses, uh -huh. Why do you cry to me? Why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. Are you hearing that? Look here, Moses made a mistake. Because there's a danger of sitting one place. When the Bible says when the Egyptians were coming, he said, stand still. In other words, he said, don't move. This time they must move. He was telling them, don't move. Stand still. Listen, when you stand still, you are able to see your enemy clear. Devil wants to show you when you stand still. Things you are not supposed to see. But now listen. When they stand still, Moses 
Pharisees began to see the Egyptians coming. He began to cry. Because standing still can make you to cry. Can make you to have a question. That cannot be answered. And God looked at him and he said, Moses, why are you standing still? Why? Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. Because I work. When you move. The Lord will say I work. When you move. If you move forward. I will make your enemy. Not to catch you. you. But when you stand one place. The enemy will destroy you. This year. Your enemy. Will forget about you. I don't know if you are here they will be exposed. I see your enemy be exposed. Do not stand still. Move forward. The Lord is about to fight for you. Shake somebody's head. Move forward. Move forward. It is time to move. It is time to move. The blessings are in front of you. They are not where you are standing. When you begin to move, you are moving forward. To us. The blessing is set for you. If you are here, shout hallelujah. Can you just play something now? Because I'm seeing someone here moving forward to take over the blessing. I see someone here moving forward to terminate to terminate. It is your time to take over the blessing. I want to take over the blessing. I'm taking over the blessing. Shake somebody here. Move forward. 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 Move Hey, move forward. Carry on. Get up again. It is your time. Rise up again. And move forward. Your time has come. Yeah, move Listen. Paul said, I don't tell myself that I'm alright. But one thing I do, I forget. I forget the past. And I press on. I move forward. Because there is something that I heard of you. If you hear me shout, hey.
Because you have been dwelling in one place. In your spirit. Even in your flesh. It is time now to move. You will leave those who are talking against you behind. You will leave those who are criticizing you behind. I want to read the scripture. Listen to this, what Jesus did. What Jesus did. I want to show you from the scripture what Jesus did. In Luke 9. Verse 57. Verse 57. 57 to 62. Luke 9. Oh my God. Luke 9, 57 to 62. It says, uh -huh. Now it happened as they journeyed on the road. As they journeyed. That someone said to him. Listen, listen. It happened when they journeyed on the road. You are invited to be on the road to move. Hey. Okay, listen to that verse. Listen. Uh -huh. That someone said to him, Lord, I will follow you wherever you go. Uh -huh. And Jesus said to him, yes. Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Listen to this. Jesus, when he entered the road, when he started to move, they began to talk. Another one said, hey, I will follow you. No, you are supposed to move without having any promise. There must yeah. not be any promise. You are given. If you are given a promise, it won't be a miracle. I don't know if you are hearing me. It will be a promise. Jesus was saying, Follow me as you are moving. There will be a miracle. But this time, I don't promise you anything. It happens when Jesus enters the road. I don't know if you are hearing me. There are some people who are here. Maybe you have been promised. I'm here to cancel that promise. Why? Because it might be very small to what God wants to give you. You are holding a small thing that you have been given a promise. It's a small thing compared to what God wants to give you. I don't know if you are hearing me. As they journey, this man, he wanted to hear the promise. Jesus, if I follow you, what are you going to do? Jesus said, hey, I don't even have a place to sleep. You just follow me. Come we move. In the process of moving, there will be a miracle. I don't know if you are hearing me. Tell us, hey, enter the road. Begin to move. In the process of moving, something will happen. Can you read? I'm can you read? Uh -huh. Then he said to another, follow me. But he said, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. Look here. Jesus, when he sees yes, so have one. that one that he failed to understand that nothing will be promised, he began to choose and say, okay, you, follow me. And the man saying, read. Allow me to go to bury my father. This man was delaying the process. This man had issues. There are things he wants to do first. He is invited to move. But he still look around to fix some things that must be fixed. The Lord doesn't want you to look around. He just wants you to move forward. Let me prophesy someone. 
heaven wants you to look at your problem. Forget that problem. Look ahead. Where you are going. There's a solution. Of that problem. There's a blessing. Of that problem. If you are here, we shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at this verse, man. Let's jump there. Philippians 1, verse 5 to 6. I'm giving you scriptures now. Philippians 1, verse 5 to 6. Philippians 1, 5 to 6. It says what? For your fellowship in the gospel uh -huh. from the first day until now. Yes. Being conf conf confident of this very thing that who he who has begun a good work in you yes. will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Me? Just as yes, yes. it is right for me to think this no, of that, you. That, that verse is fine. The Bible says as you are participating. It means when you are moving. As you have began to move forward, your participation is not in vain. You have started a journey to be part with Him. Whatever you are doing, from the day one, know that there will be a complete work. There will be the end of it where the Lord will show us. Don't stop moving. But carry on doing what you are doing. Carry on doing what you are doing. I was asking myself. Why God blessed me this way. And God began to reveal to me. That the blessing didn't come because. You are praying so much. But because you have not stopped. Doing what you are doing. Carry on. Doing what you are doing. I've been doing what I'm doing. The opposition will rise. I carry on. Challenges will the come. Challenge I carry on. The blessing is on the carrying on. I see you. Sometimes the devil wants to discourage you. you. Don't stop. Tell the devil, don't stop. Can you stand up and tell we know what you are facing. Go and tell that person. We know what you are facing. But don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Sit down. From the day you discover the truth and tell yourself that I will carry on, things will come to lower your speed. Things will come to take out you out of the way. But tell yourself, I won't stop. I see someone here who's facing a lot. But I'm telling you here the solution of your challenge and the, uh, the progress of what you're doing. So carry on. Don't stop. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. Check somebody say, hey, I'm not going to stop praying. I'm not going to stop focusing in the things that I'm doing. Can you tell your neighbor what is that you're doing? When you're alone, what is it that you're doing? When you're alone, say, don't stop. Say, don't stop. Say, don't stop. So this message is for you. I see you moving Say forward. Say I'm moving forward. Say I'm moving forward. How many of you are moving forward? You are moving forward. Are you moving forward? Are you sure? I see the land that the Lord is giving you. I see a house that the Lord is giving you. I see a car that the Lord is giving you. I see a car that the Lord is giving you. I see a car that the Lord is giving you. Don't be tired. Move forward. Let me give you another scripture. So I'm, I'm prophesying. 
Quer professar, quer professar, Helena. This is another scripture. Ele é uma lochile. This scripture says this. Ele é real, vale lá. Proverbs four. Ele é chapter four. Verse twenty three to twenty five. Twenty three to twenty five. If you are moving forward, what is it that you are supposed to do? We are my four twenty-three. Yes, yes. Twenty-three. For they are life to those who find them, and a health to all their flesh. Keep your Proverbs heart. Proverbs four, verse twenty-three. Okay. Keep your heart with all diligence. Yes. For out of it springs the issues of life. Put away from you a deceitful mouth, and put perverse lips far from you. Yes. Let your eyes look straight ahead, and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet, and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Remove your foot from evil. Amen. Amen. As you are moving forward, you need to guard your heart. And take your eyes forward. Fixed to where you are going. The Bible says set your your minds above where Christ is, where your hopes are. Deal with yourself. Deal with your heart. Because the things of life are coming from your heart. I don't know if you are hearing me. Don't allow your heart to be misled. And you find yourself lying sin. This is the time because of where you are going is closer than where you come. It is time to fix your eyes. I heard where you are going. It says, let your eyes look directly ahead. Not aside. I don't know if you're hearing me. Pastor says, my friend, look ahead. Not down. Not aside. But ahead. You are being challenged. But look ahead. You are facing problems. But look ahead. Look where God is taking you. Don't look at your problem. Don't look at your challenge. Look ahead. Tell her, hey, where are you looking? Where are you looking now? I'm looking at the best things that are coming. I'm looking at the answer that the Lord is bringing to your life. Where are you looking? Don't look at the problem you're facing. Look at the Lord. Take your eyes on Him. The author and the finish of the thing. Look up to Him. He's here for you. He's about to bless you. Look at Him. 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 32, 7 and 8. It says, uh-huh. You are my hiding place. Yes, yes. You shall preserve me from trouble. Yes. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. Yes. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Are you hearing that? Little. It is time to move forward. He will surround you with deliverance. The presence of the Lord is upon you. He's close to you. Don't worry about your surroundings. Move forward. Move forward. 
Look here, the Bible says, you'll be surrounded with songs of deliverance. You won't see who's bringing a challenge. You'll be singing. You'll be worshiping. He's good. He's wonderful. He's mighty. Because he's leading you. He's instructing you to your destiny. Someone is here today. I see you going to your destiny. I see you going to your destiny. I see God on your side. I don't know if you are hearing me. I see God on your side. Let me read the last scripture. Isaiah 43. Verse 18 to 19. Isaiah 33. 43. Yesaya 43. 43. Verse, Verse 18 to 19. 18 okay. to 19. Yes. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Yes. Behold, I will do a new I will even make a road in the wilderness and a river in the desert. Don't worry about the past. The Lord is about to do a new thing. Hey, the Lord is about to do a new thing. Are you ready for new things? Don't ponder about the past. Don't worry about history. The Lord is about to do a new thing. There's going to be a new car. There's going to be a new house. What happened in the past will be called history. Your history will be forgotten. History will be forgotten. The Lord is about to do a new thing. Your history will be forgotten. History will be forgotten. The Lord is about to do a new thing. Your history will be forgotten. History will be forgotten. The Lord is about to do a new thing. Your history will be forgotten. History will be forgotten. The Lord is about to do a new thing. Your history will be forgotten. History will be forgotten. The Lord is about to do a new thing. Your history will be forgotten. Listen to this. There was a time God visited Joseph. Time he visited Joseph. After all the shame he went through. All the shame after the rejection he faced and the Lord visited him he gave him a gift and whatever he touches began to work I'm seeing someone here the Lord is about to visit you. the useless things will start to work I said the useless things will start to wear. If you are hearing me shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't hear you. I can it. The, the Lord is about to visit you. This is the week of visitation. I said this is the week of a visitation. God bless you. God bless you. Let us all stand. Let us all stand.